The purpose of this session is to demonstrate and discuss the lot traceability functionality within vicinity. The first part of this discussion, I'll actually show you how we apply a lot to a batch, uh, consuming that lot into a batch and ultimately tying it to a finished good. And then we'll go and look at the lot traceability function uh, native within vicinity. First thing I'll do is bring up an existing batch that I have and record raw material usage. In this case, I'm recording 10 pounds of this raw material uh, being used against this batch. I've selected the following lots, uh, the selected lots um, that uh, came from uh, various suppliers. These lot numbers can be provided by the vendor or they can be provided uh, internally. In this case, I've got two different lots uh, showing that we can use multiple lots on the same batch to get uh, for the same raw material item. Uh, additionally, uh, I can record uh, finished good production. In this case, I'm going to uh, I can put in uh, say uh, 10 units of inventory on hand. Uh, so now we will be tying those two raw material lots to this finished good or intermediate lot uh, as soon as I post. Now with that accomplished, what I'll do next is um, show you the lot traceability. Within vicinity, we have a lot trace for any given item. So let's say we pull up that same raw material item, uh, that dispersant, and um, if, a cust if a vendor had contacted us and said that they had a problem with a specific lot, uh, let's say the 8989 lot, the first thing I can see is that I've got approximately uh, 6,300 pounds available still on hand. Probably the first thing I would do is contact the warehouse and have them quarantine or isolate that inventory. And then I can quickly go and see what uh, finished goods or what produced products um, consumed that lot or were used to make that uh, produced product. So I'm going to go from a raw material to a finished good and perform the lot trace. Uh, it starts at the top and it is telling me that this lot of this raw material has been used to make all of these produced products and in the brackets are the actual lot numbers that were generated for that produced product. The first uh, five items or six items or so are finished goods that had a, um, a lot number given. They probably have been shipped out to customers. And then the next item down here is actually an intermediate. In other words, it was produced and then it was used, this lot was used to make these lots. Uh, so our lot traceability will go down multiple levels until ultimately it gets to the end destination of um, whatever the product uh, uh, finally was sent to the customer. Now I can see all the information related to uh, the quantity that of uh, this raw material lot that was consumed and it went and make a certain quantity of this produced product. I can see that in, in on the screen and as I click through each record I see that data changing. The um, I can also see this data as in a printed format. In other words, I can print a crystal report that can be modified any way you would like to see it, showing that this raw material lot was consumed to make all of these products. And I can also see that intermediate that was produced and what products it went into. Additionally, if this item has been sold, I can see from Microsoft Dynamics that it was sold on this document number to this uh, customer. And if I want, I can put the phone number out there and I can put dashes in there to, to make it a little easier to read. So I can also get a report for this lot trace. I can also do this in reverse. So if I wanted to go from, um, say, DCFG02, um, which a customer may have contacted us and said they had an issue with a particular lot, I can see all the lots that have been made of that finished good. I can also see the quantity on hand still in the warehouse that is yet to be shipped to customers. And I can also do a lot trace from the finished good down to the raw material. So in this case, I'll do a lot trace and it's showing me that I use some packaging and some raw materials and here are the lots associated with them. I can also print that report, very similar type report. Uh, I can see the PO, etc. from the vendor uh, that supplied us those raw material lots. So. Uh, in, sh in summary, we're able to record the raw material lots consumed on a batch ticket uh, and then also, of course, the lot numbers are put on hand for a finished good or a produced product on the batch ticket. And that's all that's needed to be done from a data entry perspective. Then you can come to the lot trace inquiry and look from a raw material to a produced product or a finished good all the way to a customer. Or you can go from a finished good produced product lot all the way back to each raw material that was used to make that lot and even see the PO in Microsoft Dynamics. 
We hope that helps. Thanks.